Hey, 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 this is your girl, Dr. Onika. I wanted to tune in just for a few minutes. I thought it was worth a few minutes of my lunch break to come here on today with this breaking news. I know that many may have already heard about the delays to early voting, but I want you to stay encouraged and be not discouraged because we are delayed, but we will not allow our voices to be denied. Now, I do have many questions, but one that I would ask is if we knew that early voting was starting on today, it has been out on the website, on the um, state's website, that early voting for Phillips County started um, November the 24th. It's been out there for a while. Why is it that we did not have everything that we needed in place to ensure that it would be a smooth beginning. This tactic, some of these tactics that are being used, and not to say this is any individual's fault, but this is my point. Um, people, we have the patience of about 20 seconds or the, the attention span of about 20 seconds. But my point is this. We must make the voting experience as easy as possible. And a lot of people, when they go to vote and they are turned away and they need to come back or go to a different place, you know, because there was, um, and I forgot where was it aired, and I think it was maybe someone in one of the council meetings that spoke that initially had said, even during the um, general election, that they would it would be possible for people to vote anywhere that voting was taking place it's important that the voting experience is made not only convenient but that it is not complex simple is always better i want to encourage registered voters i want to encourage any anybody that went out this morning to cast their vote and was turned around and said that they were not that early voting had not started because they were having some issues do not allow that to discourage you we must find a way when early voting do start a way to get back out and vote i want to i wanted to um, come here today because i think it's very important that we stay encouraged, that our voice, it mattered then and it yet still matter. So do not be discouraged with this delay because we would not be denied. We would not be denied. Our voices need to be heard. This election is very important and there are some things that need to take place. There are some changes that need to happen in order for our city to be able to move forward. There has not been a lot of change to a lot of problems for a long time. We have a lot of problems, but we have little to no progress. We have a lot of problems, but we have seen little to no progress. We have, a, we have not seen a lot of results. We've heard what people have said, but we see we see what we're living in. We see the blighted properties. We see the burned up buildings, the boarded up uh, um, uh, properties. We see the overgrown grass. We see the stray animals. We hear the gunshots all the time. And in most cases where an officer is needed, we have no police visibility we need community policing we need polices when we need them where we need them but it's difficult for us to have that when we don't have enough and so i'm just i, I want to encourage you as a registered voter that do not for you to not allow this delay to deny your voice that you will not allow this delay to uh, take your voice away from you. Your voice matters. Your vote matters. There is hope for Helena. There is hope for our city to be turned around. But it makes a difference by each individual coming together to say that I have something to say. And I'm going to say it via the ballot box. We're praying. 
We're praying when I get off of here, we're praying that this problem is fixed and that God is able to do what God does. We will not be silenced. We will not be discouraged. We will not give up. We're voting and we're going out in record numbers and voting because our city need change. We need new administration. We need new leadership. We need individuals that's going to be accountable, that's going to get results. And as I like to say, you need somebody that is going to execute a plan. Well, they will plan, they will do it, they will check it, and they will change whatever is not working. I just wanted to come in here just for a few minutes to encourage you to be encouraged, to go back when we get the word that the um, machines are fixed or whatever is necessary or whatever need to be done. But do not be discouraged. Be encouraged and know that your voice matter. You've been listening to Onika Shirley and I'll talk to you later. Bye.